Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. So my last video absolutely blew up and thank you so much for the support. And since that video is how is Garden Warfare 2 still successful, I decided why not make a video on why BFN failed. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. If you are new to the channel, check out some of my other videos since I mainly post PvZ shooter related videos. With that, let's get into it. Releasing on September 4th, 2019, PvZ Battle for Neighborville was a very strange game, to say the least. It was the only shooter game in the PvZ franchise to not have Garden Warfare attached to it. It also was released out of nowhere. I still remember exactly when it was announced, since the official Plants vs. Zombies YouTube channel premiered a video releasing the game. This was confusing, since there was almost no marketing for the game. We knew there was another shooter in the works, but we didn't know when it would be released, so it was just a matter of time and it coming out randomly was really weird. The game at first glance was very different from the rest of the Garden Warfare games. I won't say any more since a lot of these things that are different are reasons for its failure, so let's get into the list. And before I start, I want to state that these are all reasons for the game's failure based off my opinion, and also the fact that they literally stopped updating the game a year after it got released, due to the game performing so terribly. I do have a pretty big hate boner for this game, but I am a pretty reasonable person, so I am going to explain every single reason in great detail so you have a better understanding of my reasons. My first reason for why BFN failed is probably the most commonly shared reason amongst most people, including myself, is no variance. Variance, in me and many others' eyes, is what made Garden Warfare 2 so memorable. On top of being a PvZ game, it made the game so unique and different than so many other shooter games that only had a perk system, meaning there wasn't much variety outside of those perks, so the games weren't that much different to each other. I still, to this day, do not know why they decided to remove variance. It's almost like they wanted to rebrand the shooter games for some reason even though they built up such a big fanbase already. It makes no sense to remove something so crucial to a game's main focus. I mean, one of the things that they proudly promote in trailers is the amount of characters unlockable. Unlocking characters is one of the best parts of the Garden Warfare games. I mean, tell me you weren't excited once you finally unlocked a legendary character, or even just a character that you liked. Now, in BFN, you just unlock cosmetics and perks to use. No characters, nothing. The only other characters you unlock is the TV head, Wildflower, and Wizard, and even then, two of those are just AI characters that they reused as a class. But I will admit, the wizard is a nice touch. But I feel like if variants were added to the game, the game would be a lot more successful. And I know that this reason is heavily used for this argument, but that's because variants are such a crucial part of Garden Warfare that taking it away is like taking away crafting in Minecraft. You just can't do it and expect good results. The feeling of getting on Garden Warfare and being able to choose between 120 different characters compared to BFN's measly 25 characters, you can see why this is such a big issue. Playing the same characters over and over again made the game feel repetitive. Coming off of the topic of no variance, my second reason is that the game tries to be different from the other Garden Warfare games. It seemed like BFN tried something new in a way that almost separated itself from the last two shooter games. Like to me, it does not feel like I am playing a PvZ shooter game when I play BFN, and to me, that's a big issue. I mean, the name of the game itself doesn't even have Garden Warfare in it, so you can make the argument that the game purposely tried to be different, but why? What's the point of switching up something that worked amazingly in the last two games? Why change it to the point where the game doesn't feel similar to the last two? I don't know if it's just a me thing, but I think this is one of the bigger reasons on why it failed, judging as most people don't even call this game Garden Warfare 3, as they don't see it as a PvZ shooter, and instead see it like some cheap knockoff game, in which, I will say, it definitely does feel like that. My third reason is the unnecessary changes they made in the game. These are more like little nitpicks I have, but are still very viable into the failure of this game. For starters, the biggest issue I have is making Battle Arena ranked. Why on earth would they do this? This only caused the game mode to not function properly, as most people could not find games since they were playing ranked games, and I guess there was not enough people playing to get properly ranked, so the game mode just didn't work. It's not even like there was an option for ranked or casual, the entire game mode was ranked for some reason. The next issue I have is a small change that to be honest doesn't affect me, but it's still annoying nonetheless, is not being able to choose garden ops or graveyard ops. Like why? What is the purpose in this feature? What if I wanted to play graveyard ops as foot soldier? Nope. Take garden ops instead. Like I genuinely want to know why it was designed this way and not instead letting you choose. The last main issue I have with these little design changes is how clunky the gameplay feels. Compared to the first two games, BFN feels so clunky and unpolished gameplay wise. When I run around and move my camera, it feels like my camera is lagging or something. I don't necessarily know how to explain it, but also the gameplay itself is strange. Like when I sprint and stop, every single time there's a weird half second where my character glitches. I know this isn't just a me thing, since it happens to other people and I hear countless people complaining about the clunkiness all the time. Maybe it's because they used a different engine to make the game, who knows. All I know is the game feels rushed and it shows. My fourth reason is that the game leans towards competitiveness more than casualness. 
As you all know, PvZ is marketed towards kids mainly, which means that the game should most likely be casual. Unfortunately for BFN, the game felt like it was leaning towards the competitive side of things. The reason I believe this is feeding off of other things I already mentioned, ranked battle arena. It's not just ranked battle arena, it's more of also the no variant thing. Having both of these in mind makes me believe that they got rid of variants to have a more mature feel towards the game, since basically every other shooter game had the exact type of style, a perk system with ranked game modes. Now that BFN had it, I'm sure a lot of you can see a similarity between BFN and some other competitive shooter games such as Call of Duty. The perk system in BFN is almost like building a class, which for some of you is a good thing, but for the majority of casual players is not a good thing, since variants kind of already did it for us with a more interesting twist. My fifth reason is that there's not as much replayability in BFN than there is in Garden Warfare 1 or 2. Obviously BFN has a better story out of all three shooter games, being the only one with an actual story, and I can't lie, it's not bad. But there is one issue, it's not very replayable. Sure, you can always go back into the story and play it again, but it won't be the same, since you've already played through it. Many single player story games have hundreds of hours of story, since game developers know that once a player is done with the story, there's a big chance that the player will not play that game again for some serious amount of time. This is the same for BFN, having only about 10 hours of story mode. If played at a regular pace, this means that if you played the story for 2 hours a day, you would have it done within a week. You are not going to want to replay that story mode as much as you would with something else like multiplayer. However, multiplayer in my eyes having no variants and a weak perk system is not much replayable either after mastering all characters. With Garden Warfare 1 and 2, Coming back to the game is a breeze with so many options to choose from, you have countless hours of replayability. Especially since the servers are still alive, unlike a lot of BFN servers, which leads me to my sixth reason, which is bots. Once a game has to add bots in a multiplayer, that's when you know it's bad. Bots were basically just fill-ins for missing players since the game hasn't had enough players to fill up lobbies. Playing against bots just gets so annoying so quickly as most of these bots were mainly there to fill up a lobby and not actually be played against. You can tell whenever you kill a bot as they normally are very easy to take out and don't require really any skill or ability using. I don't really know why they added bots since to be honest the lobbies weren't that dead. Like players were still playing the game and lobbies were kind of filling up. Then they added bots with kind of just killed the game even more. It doesn't feel like a real gaming experience anymore. Every time I've played in the past with bots, the game feels artificial and fake and I just want to get off the game as fast as possible. Like Garden Warfare 1 and 2 had a more natural feel playing against real people, but bots, it just makes the game feel fake. Now for my seventh and last reason, I believe this to be the absolute biggest reason on why the game failed to exceed any sort of standard EA had for it, and that is that there was almost zero marketing for the game. If you were a fan of Garden Warfare 2 when it first came out, you'd know that the marketing for the game was horrendous, but they still promoted the game with trailers on YouTube and even a yogurt marketing campaign. For some odd reason, PopCap decided to not only not promote BFN, but they thought it was a great idea to just outright release the game out of the blue. I still remember watching the live stream being like, what, there's a, there's a new game out already? and check out almost any PVZ YouTuber's video on the matter. They all say that the game was prematurely released. This is especially true since Battle for Neighborville did not have Garden Warfare in its name, so most people didn't bat an eye if they saw it in a store or online. Marketing is probably the most important part to anything on the market's success. If you do not market something enough, then chances are it will not perform well. If you don't market it at all, then you have almost indefinite chances of failure, and unfortunately, that was the case for this game. As the only somewhat marketing the game has ever had was YouTubers playing and reviewing the game, and a leaked trailer before the game released. Other than that, this game was a lost cause. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I know I said in the beginning that I really dislike this game, and I'm gonna try to be reasonable about all my reasons, so I do hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. A lot of these reasons also aren't even my opinions, this being proved by the discontinuation of the game almost a year after its release, um, so yeah. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like, if you guys are new, subscribe, and consider checking out some of my other videos on my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.